was chasing a cat outside. <laughs> and the cat and I went down on the ground. And I couldn't get up. Just like on the TV commercials, I fell and I can't get up. So, and my husband helped me up. And for three days, I thought it was just muscle pulls. And I could hardly move. And I, it was just excruciating. I looked at, she had imaging. Uh, she had an MRI of the lumbar spine, which showed uh, an acute or a new compression fracture at L1. And in a patient uh, such as Mrs. Joanne, she's 82, she's got osteoporosis, she had a mechanism of, of injury that could cause this kind of a fracture. This is a perfect candidate for a procedure called a kyphoplasty. Incision only needs to be large enough to allow this to pass through. So after I pass these into the vertebral body, I will then inflate a balloon, which helps to open up the space within the vertebra and sometimes even reduce the fracture a little bit, kind of try to get it back more towards normal orientation. And then that space that you've created with the balloon, you essentially fill it up with a very fast acting cement. It was like 4.30 in the afternoon and he fixed my back. And it was just instant relief. Hey. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. You look so much you. better than the last time that I saw you. Oh, you bet. Yeah? No more pain? No, it's gone. You told Completely? me it would be gone, and you were absolutely right. Right. Completely. Gone. How much relief? Total. Percentage-wise, how much better? 100%. 100%. Good, 110%. Good. So you can get back to doing the things that you want to do? Anything I want to do. What have you been doing? Working. Yeah? Working at the store. I've always kind of thought of this procedure as almost being too good to be true. It's a tiny little incision. Complication rate is extremely low. Um, it is very effective at eliminating or significantly reducing pain that comes from these types of fractures.